build your own prison. And there's a certain, when I was doing the guitar solo for that song, um, came in and it was, you know, they had already got most of the track done and, and I, uh, I started playing it and, uh, and literally the second we, I stopped and played the last note in the solo, uh, JD's phone rang and it was uh, my wife going to labor for my second child. So like, for some reason that I was, I hear that solo and I always think about that moment and that's sort of, that's a really special thing to have on a record. Probably my favorite is uh, the work of art and that was the first song that Billy wrote for the Box Masters, and so it was the first one that was, you know, that we fully created. You know, Billy, you know, wrote an amazing lyric, and you know, uh, just a great song. I just love it. And, you know, it's like everything. You know, the drums are, you know, half time at the beginning, and then kick into, you know, full time at the, at the second verse. It's just, you know, it swings. It's just, it's like that's where it started, and you know, that just really just makes me happy. <laughs> it's like, now here we are, you know, it's, it came from that. <laughs> I'd have to say Work of Art is maybe my favorite song on the record, too. We don't play it live simply because it's, it's kind of too important that song to us to play it live because it would, we, I don't think it would translate live. It's a, uh, you know, because of the tempo and the sort of nature of the song, somber nature of the song, uh, we mostly play the rockin' ones, you know, live. And uh, you know how that is when you're playing live. You have to, sometimes you have to lose one in the set that you wish you could play. And, uh, you know, I'm with Mike too on Build Your Own Prison. Uh, but I would have to say the one that's closest to my heart in terms of uh, any emotional connection would, would be 20 years ago because it was written about people I know who I've lost to cancer and we've lost to cancer really, because these are you know, Jim Varney, Warren Zevon, but the song was really inspired by Stephen Bruton who survived cancer and uh, that's really who I wrote the song about is Stephen and uh, I don't know, I, I'd say that song has to be the closest to my heart when I just want to hear something that makes me laugh and, you know, uh, feel good, I like to listen to I'll give you a ring when you give me back my balls. So <laughs> Sorry. That's the, that's the song. No, that's, that's, that's the song right there that brought Marty into the fold. That's how we first got Marty. We needed, we wanted to steal guitar on, on this song, and he's been with us ever since. That was that was a fun session. Uh, Billy had called me earlier that day. I guess you got my number from Bruton or yeah, Terry yeah, Wilson. That's or right, Terry Wilson. Yeah. And uh, he called me and said, you know, we can play on this song. We have a great song, you told me about the song and so forth. Uh, can you be over at nine o'clock? So I went over there at nine. I was probably done the song around 9.20, 9.30. Goes pretty quickly. And we just met and I left at quarter till five in the morning. <laughs> you know I got I sucked into the <laughs> vortex. <laughs> and, and that whole thing, that, that was one pass, that whole, that yeah. whole song. Yeah. Yeah. That's fine, did you work? <laughs> Didn't know that. No, yeah. Oh, cool. There might have been one lick that, you know. No, let's keep it one pass. Come on. There, but yeah, don't no, throw I mean, them under the bus. Yeah. I, I, honestly, <laughs> I can't remember. I, I really remember it being one full take. Oh, well, thank you. Of that but, Hawaiian. The steel. Hawaiian steel guitar. <laughs> and, uh, you know, the music, I mean, to have an opportunity to play with that kind of spirit in the song, you know, besides the song being funny, yet, cleverly written, not just, you know, ha-ha, but there was a lot to it. And and sort of summing, oh, this is up, you know, where, where they're going. And uh, and then just, you know, chatting until the morning. And even then, sort of had to force myself to leave. <laughs> you know, I had another session the next day. Turns you into a box master, doesn't oh, it? Oh, I was there. That was it, you know. I, was, <laughs> I have to say, yeah, I have to say, I, I'll give you a ring is, is one of my favorites. That I like, I like that. I actually like Memories of You. Memories of You and I. Memories of You. Yeah, I, I really like. I like the tempo of that song. I like the way it feels. Uh, and I, I mean, I, I'm a fan of, of the bands. Believe it or not, I'm a big fan of the Boxmasters. 
So it's like all the songs to me are really great. I like the I like the way the band does the covers. You know, uh, the, uh, Eleanor, you know, the Turtles, great. It's just great when you hear it. You go, wow, the next Why didn't I think of that? <laughs> you know. <laughs>